Hello everyone and welcome back to Station Ears. Today I mm, I think I would like to automate water production. But before we do that, I think we are going to deal with this one. I said in the last episode that I maybe I would like to rearrange a couple of things around here. So first things first, let me put away a couple of stuff and to make my plan work, we are going to need a couple extra water pipes as well. Mm, if I place this here, it's going to actually decay. Can I, can I see how long? Let's see, if I drop it, will it say? Oh, 44 hours, that's okay. So, let's see, we are going to need a couple extra water pipes. So, liquid pipe. Just a regular old pipe will be okay. Okay, we have iron in the printer, so perfect. I think I will make four of them. That should be enough. You know what, make, just make sure, just to make sure I will make six. Okay, so now we are going back into the greenhouse. Okay, so since we are in the seeding part of the fern development, I'm going to harvest as much as I can, and I'm going to use these to replant. If you don't remember what I'm planning, don't worry, it will be pretty obvious. Let's see... Also, the seeds can be stacked to 10, that's why I'm dropping them. There we go. Oh, that was an accident. Okay, let me eat this fern. We pick you up. There we go. Anything else I can harvest here? No. Yeah, we have two seeds here. Two more here. I think maybe I will go with 40 seeds. So now we have 30. Uh, let's see, we can harvest, yeah, we have more here. Two more maybe, yes. Okay, I will leave it at that, I will also drop the actual ferns. Now it's time, time to actually get rid of these guys. Yes, I, I really don't need to get rid of these in the front. But, you know what? I might as well just make myself have a clear picture of what I'm doing. In fact, we don't need to. Can I... Mm, for some reason I can't remove them now. Oh, it's fine. Anyways... Yes. We, I will make it a pretty obvious what I'm doing. Okay, one second. We have so many. Okay, we are still harvesting seeds. Okay, for now, I will harvest the ones that do not have seeds. Can I harvest this one? No. Okay, maybe if I remove the planters that should help let me eat this fern so if i remove the planter hmm, okay if you say so fine i will harvest the seeds i don't know can i get rid of this one hmm. does it will decay can i pick it up oh sure Fine. We are going. And you know what? It doesn't really matter. We can still sell these seeds. So it's not exactly a bad thing that we have so much. But you know, it still clutters right now. Anyways. We are getting close to having a clear picture of what we are doing. Uh, 
we put this away. Almost done. Okay, I did not mean to plant that. Can you please not? Okay. So, we can start picking up the planters. Mainly from the back and from the middle. No, I was meaning to drop the planters again. There we go. There we go. And we also need to move a couple of the pipes. This is just for aesthetic reasons. It doesn't really matter. Just for my own sake. Again, we need to drop the correct thing. Okay, so we don't need to move the ones in the middle. Uh, I mean, in the front. Only ones in the middle and in the back. Almost done. There we go. So, I can put away the wrench. You know what? Let's deal with the pipes right now. So, you are coming with me and you as well. Uh, let's merge these pipes. We only need to deal with this section of the piping. So, you are going up. And then we need a three-way corner. Just like this. Then you know what? Might as well... No, we need a corner here. So corner and corner. Now you might be seeing what I want to do. Let me move these as well. And these. So we need these like... No, you, this one is up here and this one is down here. Yes. Mm -hmm. And finally, that's it. Okay. Let's start placing the planters. So I'm doing this so I have easier access to the planters. There we go. And the, this will also make the, the garden look a bit nicer, I think. It's easier to access the actual port. Not going to be obscured by the plant all that much technically I could actually plan for horries which are basically the automated farming tools but you know what there is a little bit of a satisfaction in doing this manually okay almost done there we go, only yeah, three more. So one, two, and three. So this is the new garden. And we have so many seeds. Yeah, I think I will Yeah, I will sell the actual finished ferns. And I'm going to plant the seeds. Now there might be a little bit of a problem with the grow lights so we are gonna have to, we will have to test that the front row should be okay that's the same what about you yeah you are okay basically we need to test the edge cases or basically just plant everything and if something doesn't grow and we know there is a problem there Okay, almost done. So far so good. Now what about you? You are okay. And you? You are fine as well. Perfect. Again, if you didn't know, if we plant the fern on a tooltip you will see a couple problems, but they will go away quickly. Yeah, you can see. If the end result is no complaints, the fern is fine. 
Okay, what about you? Perfect. Almost done. We just only need a couple. And that's it. What about you? You are okay as well. So this is the new garden. We can continue maybe until here. And then... Yeah, I don't want to disturb this battery. We can continue the garden this way. Anyways, let me pick up the seeds. Now, water automation will be a big job in terms of coding. In the meantime, I think maybe we should place the kitchen area. Mm -hmm, sure. And for that, uh, you know, first let me sell what we don't need. Also, yes, it's been brought to my attention that we can actually hook this flashing light up to the console. It will basically do the same. But you know what? It's fine. We already did the work, so might as well leave it. Anyways, let's turn on trading. And I will sell these seeds. We already have 10 inside as backup, so it's fine. I know selling it to this organic gun trader is not cost effective, but uh, whatever. Mm, the seeds only this much, uh, this many seeds, so less than one dollar. So yeah. Okay, we have one more battery. Anything else? I think that's it. Confirm. What? Okay, the organic trader doesn't have enough money, so I will take back the battery. And you know what? I think at this point you can you can, you can go. Uh, can I... Oh, I need to send it away here. Can you please depart? Thank you. Any second now. Oh, there we go. Bye-bye. Let's see what we can find. We... I usually set this the vertical position to 45 degrees and then scan scan uh, the sky all around what was that okay let's keep c for small increments mm, nothing interesting let's keep going now this will make it hard to read Okay, we are gas straight, color code, paints, no. What's this? Mm hmm, still nothing interesting. This is a really unfortunate placement, I'm afraid. Okay, now. Almost. We are still looking for organic traders because we still need vegetables and f other stuff like potatoes and v tomatoes. I'm afraid we don't have any farming traders available. Let me put this one down to zero degrees. No, nope, that's going all the way up. Yeah, so nobody at the top. Let's put this down to 90 degrees. So we are scanning the horizon. Okay, let's see. Uh, maybe go for 70 degrees. Cam lab, no. Paint, sorted goods. Can I please keep an eye on it? Okay, what's this? Okay. This one is... The two straight, I think. It's hard to read. I will need to move this whole setup, I think. 
Yeah, this one is a real unfortunate placement. Also, Lag Spike. There we go. So, two trades. Yeah. I'm afraid we don't have any farming traders right now. Oh well, I will set this to 45 degrees and I will get back to it later. For now, I will turn it off. Okay, also, I think we need to repair these guys, right? Yes, I only prepared three of them. Need to keep this in mind because if we don't, if we leave them uh, unrepaired, they are going to get destroyed in the next storm. Anyways, so we are back inside. So as I said, I would like to deal with the kitchen area. I think it's in the electrical printer. Let's see. Packaging machine. You know what? Let's see. Let's just go one by one. There's something more advanced than this, I think. I only ever deal with the basic stuff. Uh, I don't think I will do composting. The default grow rate is perfectly fine. Yeah, advanced packaging machine. What do we need for this one? Constantan. So it's right here. Let's make one. And let's see, automated oven. Sure. We need solder for that one, which is... Where is the solder? I don't think I used it. Ah, right here. Okay. After this, let's see. Oven. Let's see the large or the small fridge. I think I will go with the large fridge, of course. So automated oven after this one. There we go. So you go in my inventory. Next up, the large fridge. Let's see, this one has a gas input, right? Fridge. Let's see. Mm, doesn't say. I think this, I know that small fridge has a gas input. So we can put in uh, food preserving gases like uh, nitrogen. But I don't know. It doesn't matter. I will just make, make a big one. So we have the oven. For this one we need iron. Which is right here. There we go. Next. Anything else? Mm, I don't think so. Anyways, what do we need for the heavy solar panels? Let's see. I'll just search for its solar panels. Uh, solar panel heavy. Astroloy. Yeah, we don't have that one just yet. What do we need for the astroloy? Astroloy. We need one kilo Kelvin. That's easily achievable with the setup we have. And 30 megapascals. That's quite a bit. I think we can pump in hot gases from daytime and then just supplement it with the heated gas. Yeah, I think we can do this one, but maybe later. For now, we have. Yeah, this is it. The fridge. I think I will set up my kitchen area in the basement, in the greenhouse. Look at this. So much nicer. So, let's see, maybe under the stairs. First things first. The, the packaging machine. It, it, this one is actually for the canning stuff, right? Packaging machine, the advanced canny, canny fire, yeah, canny fire, multiple blah, 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 blah. packaging machine, 
empty cans and cooked food. Yeah, that's it. So this one is for canning food. Uh, let's see. Hmm. I think we can access it. The, access the input here. That's fine. Then we are going to need the actual oven to actually prepare the food. Hmm. Maybe this way. Mm -hmm. Sure. And then the fridge can go... Let's see, where was the actual port on this one? We need... Let's see. Yeah, we can put they pick this one up. So the port is on the back, not in the front. Mm -hmm. So we cannot place the fridge right next to it. Is it the same with this one? Yeah, it's right next to the window. That's unfortunate. Also, can we access this? Yeah, we can. So I think the fridge will go here. Also, I don't think there is a gas input on this one. Only power and data, that's it. Ah, that's fine. So the fridge will go right here. What do we need to build this? Uh, let's see... We need iron sheets, iron sheets, and the welding torch. So let's do this. What I suspect we are going to need cables as well. But again, one thing at a time. And there we go. Then we need a screwdriver, okay. That's it. So the kitchen is pretty much complete, we just need to wire it up. Let me put away the screwdriver and this one. Now for cabling, um, let's see. What kind of cabling options do we have? I think I will bring down an APC from here. Yeah, sure. First things first, let's cable up the actual devices. Now, which one is the power? That's the data and that's the power. We don't need the data for this one, I think. We can just go through here. So we have these out, uh, inputs on the front. No, we can go straight here and turn here. There we go. T-junction goes here. And we need more cables. Of course we do. We should have everything we need. Yeah, copper. Perfect. So let's see. We need quite a bit of cabling. Also, maybe I should color these right now before I finalize anything. Let's see, I'll just make 12 maybe. Then 11 and 12. Of course, we are going to need heavy cables too. And one APC. Uh, we already have one battery right here. Technically, I should put this battery in the mining drill, but uh, it's fine. Can I do anything else for the kitchen area? Mm, not really. I mean, I could take these and put them inside, but they are canned, so they are not decaying. Anyway, how are we doing? Mm. Let's just go for one more. There we go. So now we just need an APC. So contro uh, controller. There we go. And that should do it. Thank you. Let's see, where do I put this one? 
So as I said, I would like to bring down the power maybe from here. Uh, let's see. Yeah, we can just poke it through. That's fine. I will bring it down to maybe... Yeah, here should be okay. So you will come down this way. Uh, let's see. Cable cutters, yes. Also, let's see. One, two, three. Yeah, that's it. We have everything. Okay, so this is the input. And then we are going to have this one come out this way and connect up right here. There. Now I just need to hook this one up. And we are ready to go. So let's see. We need to open this one. Yes, put in the battery, turn it on, and we can close it. So this is going to be the kitchen APC. Also, it has been brought to my attention that I may have mislabeled something. Okay, this one is the water generator APC. Yes. I you want to filter alarm. I see housing pressure regulation. I see that's fine. I know I mislabeled something atmospherics. Yes, that's fine. Uh, this one is the furnace control APC. Mm -hmm. This is the weather APC. Oh, I just call it weather station APC. Furnace heater APC, that's fine. Airlock APC, okay. Oh, I think it was the 3D printers, right? Yeah, that's it. Not priters, but printers. Okay. Anything else? Other station I see housing. I think we are going to be okay at this point. So we can put this away. Also, we can put these in the tool belt. Okay. So we have the oven, we have the canning. If we put anything in here, if at least if we turn it on, there we go, it will keep things cold and they will preserve for longer. For example, let me harvest one fern. So this piece of fern, this will last for 45 hours out in the open. But if I put it here, 726 hours, a little bit better, right? Let me just eat it, we don't need it right now. So that's great. Anything else? Let's see, how does this work? Okay, so we can actually select the recipe here. I suppose we need to put in the res uh, resources there. And anyways, what do we need for, for example, tomato soup? Empty can and cooked tomato. Perfect. One by one. No, one uh, empty can and five cooked tomatoes. Okay. What about you? Hmm, that's pretty okay. Can we make everything or do I need a chemistry station? Pumpkin pie. No, I think we need a chemistry station to make the oils and the crushed ferns and things like that. Mm -hmm. I'm afraid we will need to add one more table somewhere. But I think it's going to be okay. Let's go and look for traders now. Okay, let me turn off the filter. So, traders on. Maybe I should move these guys on right now. So instead the... What's this? The... 
antenna can go here and the console can go here. I think that would be better. So for that we are going to need frames for support. Otherwise that's all we need. We have the cables. Yeah, we can do it quite easily. Uh, let's see, we need two frames. Uh, let's see, frames. And we need the iron sheets. Also, since we are a little bit thirsty, let's drink. Okay, now we are ready to go outside. Okay, so first things first, we need to place down the frames. You are going to go here and here. We need to weld them down at least one time. So things will not fall through. There we go. Next, we can pick up the gratings. Uh, on, you know what? Let's pick up. There we go. Let me turn the flashlight so we can see what we are doing. Yeah, I think. Let's see. First, I will pick up the motherboard. Then I will do this. And last thing is need a hand drill. Okay, the PC is safely in our hands. And this as well. So, uh, the dish can actually go right here. Mm. Maybe I should turn it. Yeah, I think I will turn it right this way. Also oxygen low, so let me turn on the filter for a second. Okay, now the cabling. We can pick up these cables. This one and there is... Okay, I didn't see it, but I think we managed to catch it. So the cabling goes here and I think I will have the PC... Let's see... Somewhere we can actually control the, the satellite dish and also keep an eye on the screen. Hmm. Maybe here, just so it doesn't conflict with the screen again. So, let's put in the communication motherboard. Let's assemble it and we can place down the cables. Uh, let's see. So this is where the cabling comes in. Unfortunately, we need both the data port and the power connection. Yeah, this will do just fine. Okay. We can put away everything now. We can turn this on and turn this on. And let's keep looking. So now we can keep an eye on the screen just fine and we can rotate the satellite dish. So as I said, I like to keep this one at 45 degrees and then just go around until we find something. Okay, we need to keep an eye on traders. Tool corp we don't need. We need farm. No, we don't need minerals. We don't need a general trader. Let's turn the filter on for a second. We don't need hydraulic kit. It looks like we still don't have any. Let's see, cam lab. No. Mm -hmm. It looks like we still don't have any. Organic traders. 
Let's put this one up to maybe 65%. Let's make one to, uh, lap. At this point, I'm just clicking as fast as I can. Mm, okay, I think I overshot. That's fine. Camel up still, we don't need Exotech, we don't need, we don't need paints, so we can make them by ourselves. Hydraulic it as well, we don't need. Mm -hmm. Maybe if I point this at, you know what, let's go for 15%, uh, 15 degrees. What about now? No. Yeah, I'm afraid we don't have anything we need right now. Yeah, I will turn this off. Let me just put down the gratings and we are done for now. So you go like, uh, like this. Yeah, okay. So we can turn everything off. I think this setup is a little bit better, much more manageable. Anything else? Yeah, we need to pick up the frames as well. Okay, I will not worry about the oxygen now. We are about to go inside anyway. There and there. And we need to pick up the frames themselves. Just like this and also this one. I almost forgot. Okay. We are ready. Maybe I need one, two, yeah, two more railings, just in case. Okay, 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 I'm going inside. Filter on. There we go. Also, this one, for some reason, moved. So the external is 11 kilopascals. The CO2 intake is not doing its job quite well mm -hmm. let me take a look at that code so uh, this is the filter alarm co2 intake you come with me let's put in the code import let's see so first things first we are checking the outside temperature if it's less than 450 Kelvin, then we are checking the CO2 tank pressure. Yeah, that's fine, doesn't really need it, but might as well. If it's over 20 megapascals, then we are not going to bring in any more. Then the inside gas sensor, yes. You know what, maybe I should include a bit of a weight. Also, yeah, you know what? It's also been brought to my attention that maybe I should switch these out. Technically, this works fine, but maybe I should give a bit of a wait time between turning off the digital valve and then turning on the outside vent. So to make sure that we absolutely have the uh, digital valve off off before we start sucking in outside air so let's see we need to add a sleep one command i think that will be just fine now as for this i think if i give this one maybe a five second sleep sleep five no not six five it will actually bring in more co2 than we can uh, we need to keep the temperature at 3.303 uh, Kelvin uh, but it will bring in more air in one go instead of bringing in just a spoon amount in every cycle mm -hmm. yeah so before you know what 
let's do it like this sleep five so sure it first recognizes the temperature is this amount and then only checks it after five seconds mm -hmm. this should be okay i think and let's put this back and we should start seeing some CO2 intake any second now. There we go. Now the external temperature is rising. Let's see. It turns on and it didn't go 38 maybe. Now 37 degrees. Down here as you can see. Oh wait. One spot was hotter than the others around 40 degrees but now it's gone away yeah it's going to be fine so in one go it will heat up the base a little bit more but once it heats uh, heats it up uh, it will still wait for it to be cooled down to 30. now hopefully this will speed up the co2 intake a little bit so we have the new planter configuration in fact i think i will take a screenshot of it just for the thumbnail uh, maybe yeah this will do and then yeah we are still waiting for the trader for crop, var crop variety anything else i have the kitchen maybe i should place down some walls yeah i'm still procrastinating in terms of doing the water automation i know you know what let's just do it i will start writing the code now and maybe i will finish it in the next episode so let's see uh, there we go. Uh, I think I will include one more of these power switches so I can control everything, all the power generating machines, all at once. You don't need to set them, you know, as the separate devices. Anything else? You know what? As we write the code, I can actually uh, come up with the devices we need. So, for now, alias, we are going to need the outside analyzer at device zero. Then we are going to need the inside analyzer. Also, just like this. So the inside analyzer at device one. Then we are going to need the digital valve at device two. Alias, uh, then we are going to need, yeah, we are going to need the switch that switches off, uh, switches on all the motor generating devices. So we are going to have Let's call it power switch at device 3. Anything else? So we have these two analyzers. Oh yeah, we have this one as well. Yeah, but no, this one should be on all the time, so that's fine. We will need to keep an eye on the pressure, the outside temperature. The inside pressure as well, if it goes below maybe 2 megapascals, then we start generating water. Maybe I should include an inside gas sensor. So if the inside temperature goes above a certain point, we stop taking in. So we don't overheat the base. 
anything else. I think it should be okay. Also, we have so much water inside that it has a really hard time cooling off, even though we have three radiators. Maybe I should include more. We have space for uh, only one more because of the cable. Uh, you know what, that's fine. I am not going to worry about it. Anything else? Hmm. I think that is all we need. If not, then I will... Yeah. Let's just place down that... Let's see, the inside gas sensor, we have one. There we go. This gas sensor can go... So this one is on the water generator network. I think this one can go here. Let's see... We have just enough cable, which is one. There we go. Also, leg spike. Yes, leg spike. There we go. So, you are going to be the inside gas sensor. We don't need an outside gas sensor. Yeah, we can just keep an eye on the, in, uh, the outside temperature with this one. It's going to be basically the same as the water in here. So, let's see. Edit. Let's start the code. First things first. We are going to need to know... Yeah, the inside pressure. So, load into R0 from the inside and... Uh, Analyzer. Analyzer. In. Side. That's it. So inside analyzer. The pressure variable. Uh, let's see if it is. Let's go for two megapascals. Branch. Less than, if it's less than, so if R0 is less than 2000 kilopascals, then we can jump on to step 2. Otherwise, jump to the start. So on step 2, we are going to check... Um, Let's check the inside temperature, I think. So, load from the... In, load into R1 from the... Yeah, we need to set the device. Alias inside gas sensor device 4. So, from that one, let me just copy it, it's easier. From that one, we need the temperature. Uh, if it is, yeah, if it is less than, let's go for, yeah, 303. So basically 30 degrees inside. So if R1 is less than 303, we can get onto step 3. Step Three. Otherwise, jump to the start. And you know what? At the start, I will introduce a sleep one command. It's basically the same as a yield command, but I like to make sure that is actually a set amount of time. I don't like the yield command. Yield command. <sighs> Let's see. In step three, we are going to check. Also, let's see, step two, yes. So, let's see. If we don't have enough water inside, then we are going to check if we can actually afford the heating inside. Maybe this one should be a little bit more, maybe 40 degrees. No, let's go for 30. 
because the AC is actually go going to go for 20 degrees, that's fine. After step 3 I will end the episode and continue the code in the next one. So step 3, we should check... So the inside pressure, the inside temperature. Then we are going to check the pressure on the outside. No, let's check the temperature of the outside water. No, wait, wait, wait. This is need to be a two step process because one step has to deal with the actual water generation and the separate process has to deal with when we open the valve. So I think I will have two IC chips. Mm -hmm. So this one is going to deal with the valve. So if the inside, we can afford the inside temperature increase. Mm -hmm. And then we are going to check the outside temperature. So load in to R2 from the outside analyzer, the temperature. Now we are making so much water that we cannot really reliably keep it at 273, I think. Let's see. No, 127. We are making so much water that we are not going to be able to bring it down that far. So let's go with maybe 170. Sure. So let's see. Let's turn this off for now. Let me take out my calculator. There we go. So the Exchange rate is 17273 plus let's go for yeah one 160 I think so that's 433 okay so branch plus than if R2 is less than 433 Kelvin, mm -hmm. you want for the actual uh, valve, this is all we need, I think. We don't have enough water inside. Can we afford the temperature increase? Is the outside water cold enough? If it is, I'll just open it. That's fine. If it goes above, no, yeah, instead of jumping to the start, you need to jump to the turn off. So, turn off here as well. Turn off. So, if this is true, then we can jump to the turn on portion of the code. But if it's too hot outside, then we need to jump to the turn off portion of the code. Yeah, I think this is okay. And we can jump to the start uh, on the turn on and turn off. So let's deal with the turn on first. Turn on. Set the digital valve on setting to on. Mm -hmm. And then jump to the start. And the turn off is basically the same except in reverse. So turn off to the on setting to zero and then jump to the start. Now let's double check. Off and on. So we, we don't need for this code. We don't need the power switch. Everything else we do need. Mm 
huh? The water, actual water generation is just going to be, do we have pressure in the outside pipe? No, then just make some water, that's it. And maybe keep an eye on the amount of oxygen. Mm. I will deal with that later, so before we leave for this episode, let's make sure this code works. So, start, sleep for one second, load in the inside uh, the water, the inside water pressure, if it is less than 2 megapascals, then continue. If it's more than 2 megapascals, turn it off. Then, uh, step 2, can we afford the inside temperature increase? If we are below 30 degrees, then we can afford it. Then we can proceed to test step 3, if we cannot, then turn it off. In step 3, we are going to analyze the temperature of the outside water. If it is 250 degrees, yeah, no, 150 degrees, then we can proceed to turn on the valve. If it is too hot, then we are going to turn off the valve. And I think that's it. This is a pretty easy code. So the outside analyzer, inside analyzer, Digital valve, inside gas sensor, that's all we need. Yeah, before I go, I will name the registers as well. So, alias, uh, this one is the uh, inside water damp, R0, alias, inside atmo damp is R1, and alias the outside water damp R2. That's it. Let me just quickly replace these. Control C, Control V, and last but not least, R2. That's it. A nice, easily readable code. Confirm. And I will leave this right like this, so I know what to do in the next episode. So, thank you for watching. If you liked the video, you can leave a like, leave a comment, and maybe subscribe to the channel if you want. And until next time, I will see you later. Bye-bye.